What? What a year? What a year, man? What a year? Hello. Oh, I look knackered. <laughs> That's because you've just woke up after you went back to bed after you'd been to the gym. Still got this cold hanging about. I'm just inviting some people to come and watch. <clears throat> Say hello when you come on. Hello to my Instagram friends. You're all awesome. And I'm going to talk today about a couple of things. I'm going to show you something that's in book two that you might not know. Um, and just thank you all for an absolutely amazing 2021. Because lots of these things would never have happened without the support of you lovely lot. So, say hello when you come on. Um, I was just saying to Gaz, that's my husband if you don't know, about... The worst Christmas song. What's your worst Christmas song? Oh, you might have seen it in my stories. I said it yesterday. Worst Christmas song by far has to be. I've just found out what it's called. Stop the Cavalry. Awful. Awful song. But I let us know. Hello, Sarah Ball. You've just missed us on me group. So anyone who's watching this right now. Hello, Geordie. <clears throat> I advise you to come in. Oh, I'd love you to come in. I'm not advising you anything. I'd love you to come and look for me community on Facebook called The Secret World of Mushroom Marvellous. As you know, I am the creator of the magical world of Mushroom Marvellous. But the group that I'm talking about right here is the reason that I've done so many things in 2021. Okay. First thing I'm going to tell you is about though. If you're in the group, you will see now that I've set up an event for tonight. Sarah Ball, you're coming with Melody. Jodie, I don't think you can make it, but please do come, if you can, with Luna. Because it's going to be all Christmassy and it's a, it's a really, it's a weird, it's going to be on Zoom. Um, and it's a, a quiz stroke family fun night, which my son's going to come on and help us with. But you have to be in my Facebook group, right? The Secret World of Mushroom Marvellous. Now I'm going to try and do one of these nights every quarter next year um just as a thank you to you all i just got out of the shower <clears throat> just as a thank you to you all for everything that you've helped us achieve right so there's not just me in my community but there's you on instagram as well there's people on youtube there's people everywhere right so it doesn't matter where you're watching from but where you'll get me the most active and the most kind of accessible and reachable is in me community the secret world of mushroom marvelous on facebook all right so some of the things that have achieved this this year of just like hello kelly how are you but i did my last guest appearance of 20 and that just sounds weird right saying guest appearance last guest appearance stroke author visit of 2021 last week with the local council as you, you sort of saying stuff on here about it that would never have happened if it wasn't for the supporters that I've got online and on social media. Because what happens is I have an idea um, and I'll go and speak to people in my group and then they'll go, oh, why don't you go into schools? And they'll be like, oh. I was like, eh, go into schools, I kind of do that. And then I did. And then that caused a ripple effect. And then people started contacting us um, and hearing about the impact that me talk was, was having on children. So then I thought, right, if this is having such an impact on children, I want to do this more. What she's saying? So Sarah from Delightfully Denim saying, and the most crazy people are in there. Yes. If you like weird, <laughs> if you like weird, wonderful, magic, creative, inspirational, and just a lush bunch of people, get in the secret world of Mushroom Marvellous, right? It's brilliant. And there's over there's nearly one thousand two hundred members in there now, and it just mint. Um, so I was like, right, this is impacting so many people. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Sarah. <clears throat> this is impacting so many people, or so many children and people. Right, it's not just children. I want to make it a mission to get in front of ten thousand children next year for twenty twenty two, and that it is possible because I've just realised after that last guest appearance with the council. I've gotten in front of 1,050 children. And that's quite a short space of time to do that. It's just, I want to be able to impact more and more and more to show them what is possible. 
Because when I talk to them about how I've achieved all of this, by being inspired by mushrooms <laughs> um, and believing in myself and just being open and honest with people and sharing what I'm doing, I've achieved it, right? Sarah says, tis no ripple, tis a tsunami. Yeah, tsunami. Oh, by the way, she's like new top. Check this out. I'm definitely in Slytherin, by the way. I am always going to be in Slytherin. Got this in Edinburgh. I was at Edinburgh at the weekend and I found that street that I didn't even know was there that has loads of Harry Potter and magical shops on it. And they sell stuff like what I'm going to show you here, which I bought. I just went my ends. Um, and it was apparently the street. It's like a long, winding, bending street. I can't remember what it's called. It's like just off the Royal Mile. And um, it has... Apparently, this street was what inspired J.K. Rowling to create Diagon Alley, right? So this shop I went into was called Diagon House. Oh, mate, it's not just like a normal hoodie, though. Do you know what I love about it? It's like a cropped one, so you can wear, like, a top underneath. Yeah! Buzzing with it. <clears throat> but look what else I got. Mate, Jordy, Jordy's saying... I'd need a new mortgage if I get to that street. Oh, look at me notebook. Right. Now, they had these ones in, which I got in um, Florida. They were ludicrously priced in Universal Studios, right? They were like $40 or something like that for a, for a book, which I paid for, by the way. In Edinburgh, they were 37 quid. 37 quid. Yes, Sarah, a cold belly. <laughs> So I trekked myself to this one, and that was still about 15 quid. Look at Dobby, man, and it's all textured. Ooh, get in. So anyway, 1,050 children I've spoken to. My next schools I'm going to, and I'm gonna, I'll keep you updated with which schools I'm going to. So now you just like to find out. In January um, is JFK in Washington, but also... I've snuck another one in because I told myself I'm only ever going to do one per month. But because of the impact I had at the council, some of the children go to this school and they were like, please, please come into our school. I went, well, you'll have to ask your teacher. The next day I get an email from the teacher going, honestly, you're going to have to come in because these children have just been asking over and over and over um, about you coming in. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to see if I can squeeze them in. So I'm going to do a half day at Seaview Primary, which is only up the road. It's, it's known as Wesley as well. So I thought that would be canny. Hello, how how we played today. Oh, Beverly's puppy's called Dobby. <laughs> Sarah's got says, need you in Melodies now. If, you, if anyone hasn't realised by now, Sarah's daughter Melody is probably one of my biggest fans. She goes giddy when she comes over here. Right? <laughs> it's amazing to watch. And she's saying I need to go into our school. Can you imagine? Blimey. Hello, everyone who's joining. Hello, Vonnie. Hello, two little girls. So, yes. And then I'm just going through different things that have happened this year based on the fact that you have all supported us, right? But those school visits would never have happened if it wasn't for you. So, going, you need to go into schools and, like, backing us up and going, like, you have gone into schools and said, you need to get Kylie in. You need to get Kylie, this author in. She's amazing. And I'm like, whoa. Book update, and you can still order me books, right? I want to show you something that's in book two as well. Um, book update is 1,309. Phenomenal, phenomenal, right? Seven, there's over, nearly 800 of book one have gone out. I'm on, I'm on to the third print run. There's nearly, nearly 260 of book two, and there's nearly 260 of me colouring book as well. It's just unbelievable, right? Dixon class as well, Pfft, blew my mind that some that a school went out of the way to name their class after us. Phenomenal, thank you so much. Um, and roundabout rabbits as well. Like I would never have have started illustrating other people's books if people hadn't seen me come on here and talk to you about how I've done this. Right, I keep sharing lots of things that I do, and I'm going to be doing this so much more in my group, the Secret World of Mushroom Marvelous because <clears throat> there's so many authors out there who need help and support um but uh, there's so many people out there who want to write and 
this is how my group's going to be developing in 2022 to a place where you can get some help and support and guidance really because I've pretty much designed my own marketing strategy and it works it absolutely works and other people who I speak to like Jodie who's got Wally Wally and Co they lift and drop what I do and they do it themselves and they fly with their books right whereas there's hundreds and thousands of self-published authors out there especially children's ones who are who are probably out of pocket because they haven't to pay big marketing companies and stuff. Um, but I just want to help where I can. So there you go. Commissions. I've got two. I'm starting two more um, children's picture books in January. So obviously I've got Seth and the Rainbow Monsters book two coming. I have Catherine Green's book coming, which I'm starting in January. But I've also got a very exciting uh, meeting next week with somebody who, when they asked us, I was like, oh, yes, yes, I'm, I'm so, like, at first I went, you so need to write a children's book. And then secondly, I was like, I so need to illustrate it. Oh, yes. When you go, ah, oh, ha <laughs> cannot wait, cannot wait. Jodie saying, wow. Wow, well, right back at you. Right back at you, Jodie. Like, jordy has got a website, right? There's no way I would have the, the patience and the skill to set up a website like that. It's unreal, right? <clears throat> like, I couldn't do that. I'm in awe of what she's done with stuff like that. She's saying, you have a huge support. Learned loads from you. Yay! Wally well, wouldn't be where it where he is without you. Oh, bless you. No problem, Lisa. I'm going now anyway. Got to wrap some prezzies. Gan canny pet. Gan canny pet uncanny so i'm going now um so what i'm going to do today is get all of you to get into the the secret world of mushroom marvelous most of you are in anyway but if there's any new people watching come on in um and i'm going to do this for you so yes my brain was going there because i've been talking too long so in book two at the back there's a quest right so you scan the qr code in Book two, in cap and the blight of the bonnets. You scan the QR code and it takes you to a secret quest, right? Which is set up and I set that up. And it's got loads of questions about the map, the allotment and the tuft and things that happen in the book, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually post the PDF into my group so that it's got all the answers on as well. Okay. Um, and then I'll see, it's tonight at half six if you're going to join us on Zoomy McZoomerson. <clears throat> and Jordy says, that blooming song has just come on. Right, well, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> Awful. Right, ta -ra.